look at this. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Shank is Intact. We are at DIV 56. Joe has walked me right now with hopefully what is his first find. I found some trash so far, but this is the New York camp, and look at that. It is shaved, and it looks like it was done a while ago, which has got me worried about trespassers and such, because I haven't heard anything good yet, but let's see what Joe just saw. Oh, ho! Oh, that's a first for Joe. What is it? That is an epaulette key to a shoulder epaulette. Would have went. Is it really? Yep, that would have stuck out the metal part that was sewn into the fabric, and you would put your epaulette over that, and you would turn it so it would lock it on. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, dude. That's yeah. awesome, bro. That's stuff you find in the New York camp. Awesome. So first for oh, Joe, yeah. first hole first. That's awesome. Hopefully we find more pieces of it. We walked. If you can see those trees right there, we are parked there, and it is about a mile walk along that ridge and come down here. Now you could turn here, but I realize it is a very deep valley, but <laughs> there are tons of people showing up in the camp. So hopefully we get onto some stuff and bed down and don't have to move because we're in it. I mean, this is it. There's no further to go, but yeah, good day. Let's do it. Joe just said something about pocket knife and he's turning around now instead of coming at me. Oh, I was just <laughs> looking at the hole. Oh yeah, dude, that's period all day long, dude. That is a Civil War soldier's pocket knife. Look at that. Yeah, maybe even could have been a razor, but I think it was a pocket knife, like you said. Oh yeah, dude, that's freaking cool, man. A soldier held that. Yep, you can see where the scales went on the side. Oh, dude, yep, the knife was, it looked like, looks like it was open when it was lost. You're probably carving something. Whew. Heck yeah, man. Nice digs. Look at this beauty. So we get to look at the mountains all day. They're over there somewhere. There they are. There they are. There they are. But I wanted to show Joe, or What's and up, I brother? showed Joe. What's up, brother? Yeah. So Joe digs old pocket knife, and I dig <laughs> modern pocket knife. And can you see the difference? Whoever owned this was compensating for something, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful. We're standing in this camp. I've got a couple. Oh, here, guys. I haven't even shown you. I've dug um, a couple bullets myself got two here looks like a something and, and another one <laughs> most people in the woods over there they find anything they will get over in the woods and try to dig us a whole a whole knapsack all right so lunchtime yet <laughs> curtis just said that he dug a 1809 half cent just a little while ago so let's take a look at that gotta see that yep. Oh wow! Can I touch it? Yeah. Is it hold? Yeah. I think it's hold. I think it's hold too. Yeah, yeah, man, right there. Look at that, everybody. 1809. Wow, half cent, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. That's fantastic. And you got a New York button too, right? Yeah, yeah. Shank was intact. He found the shank in the hole. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, and there's the cloth that goes in. Yep. Yep. I've read sometimes they were newspaper even. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's find some more stuff. That's for sure. I don't know where Joe went. Oh, there he is. Cool. Matt Howell's here. He was up over the ridge. We were just digging with him. Cool. Looks like a lot of people have already left. <laughs> At least this side. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Shanks and Tack. This is day two. We are rocking new settings on the GPX. Thanks to Matt Sustek. Appreciate it, bro. And first target this morning. Boom. Definitely a large scent of some variety. That is freaking killer. Woo, super excited about that. What a way to start day two. Let's do it. We're digging out here with Matt from Gone Digging. And Joe, of course, is right over there. Let's do it. Woo, look at that. So, sorry if there's a lot of wind. Uh, you know, it happens. Uh, <laughs> We're standing here at Woodborne Farm on this old lane. Old lane with a super old, um, Help site right here, right up the way. See if we can see it. Look at these old trees, they've been here forever. You can see the house right up there. That's the side of the house. It's got looks like it's got ivy all growing around it and stuff like that. Pretty crazy. Cows are out there in the field walking around. Oh, yeah, I haven't been on much today. Just that large set you saw me find this morning. This, like I said, this day two. So it's a three day hunt. Eat your lunch, eat my lunch. Oh yeah. We'll go find Zoe in a minute. 
so we are still swinging on this beautiful farm i am only up to one target today but hey that is how the hobby goes sometimes it is very slow and today is one of those slow days and we'll just dig with it and do deal with it and keep on digging that's it yep that's it Whoo! all right good morning everybody good morning joe morning day three dude day three we are parked literally right there we have not walked a thousand feet from the truck today because we are thinking we've seen pictures so we're thinking things are shallower deus twos today xp deus twos i just got a good signal it rang an 80 iffy sound but 80 on the vdi screen so we're gonna go with that i just took a big piece of iron up over there but i popped the plug and i see something large and round pop out and i'm hoping that's a coin but it's probably a button I'm not sure what that is. Appears to be an image on it. Yeah, I think it's a button. Oh yeah, it was a big button. That's pretty cool. New York Dandy. New York Dandy. Awesome. Well, that's for my pouch. Let's go. Hey, so Joe, <laughs> Joe just got a signal, 84. It was kind of bloopy. It definitely wasn't pure. As we took it out, it got purer. I I'm gonna get Joe's reaction. So look more towards the sun, Joe. I wanna see your face. <laughs> Joe hasn't seen it yet. Joe's eyes aren't too good without his glasses, so. <laughs> I think I see a half dime. No. It's smaller than a dime. It has a reeded edge for sure. Never dug a half dime. He's never found a half dime, and I think he just found it. Uh, I'm, I'm stretching this out because uh -oh. we don't have much footage from this hunt. It's been slow, but oh, we've had a great time. So come down here, Joe. Come down here, come down, no, no, get out of the light. Notice the rated edge, right there. And notice the size. Oh. It's a little baby. Okay, you want me to pop it, Joe? Yes. I can I can already tell you it's seated. So it's probably, it, hopefully it's a Civil War year, bro. I mean, actually it could be cat bust. Okay, watch the light. I got my water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to put, yeah, go ahead and, uh, I just don't want to remove the staining for you too much, buddy. But yeah, go ahead and just give us just the tiniest squirt here on the front. I think it sits like this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Stop. Okay. I see a little detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's a cat bust, buddy. It's cat bust, Joe. It's cat bust. Joe just got capped. Joe just got capped. Dude, give me a little, give me just a little spray. A little more. Go ahead. There you go, buddy. Look it. Right there. Cap freaking bust. Give me a little more, Joe. Just a little more. That's it. That's it. That's plenty. We won't because it won't your staining won't go away. We're gonna get this date right now, buddy. 1834. 1834, Joe. Joe just found <sighs> his first cap bust half time. We're gonna clean this more up off camera. Look at that. United States of America, buddy. Oh yeah, we knew there was a home site right here. Wow, Joe. For our little nice. meet, for our little Shanks and Tack group, bro, that is the find of the hunt and a, f a first for Joe, and you can't beat that, man. Heck no. Dude. Heck no. Dude, how That's you feeling? Awesome. I'm good. Oh, Let's Joe. Yeah, we got to. It's got to be more in here. Let me just get one more image of it. Wow. Take a picture. And hell, just over here, still hitting this huge iron patch right by the parking area. And I just got shanked up. Boom. And look at this, guys. Beautiful design with silver gilding. Awesome. Check it out, Joe. Shank intact. And. Oh, nice. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Dude. Nice little, like, flower design on it. Heck yeah. That'll clean up good. It rang. Dude, it rang. It rang so clean. And, and dude, that's every bit. It's right there. Yeah. So that is. I mean, that's to the top of the leshy, so I would say, right what's that, eight inches? That's eight inches deep with the dais and the red dirt, so settings are working good. Awesome. Hopefully there's some more stuff in here for us. Are one of my elite <laughs> employees. <laughs> that is for sure. I think, I mean, I'm going to jinx Joe, but I think that's a ring. 
Yeah, I sorry about my language. I'll try to beat myself. It almost looked gold. It's definitely a ring. Joe just found an amazing. My first ring. No, second ring. Second ring. Oh my god, dude. Dude, is it gold? Well, we're gonna be right back with you guys if they're short these short messages from Rap Snacks. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, it was a 94, but I think it has something to do with that red dirt because this is looking way shinier than coated to me. We're gonna clean this up and look for a marking inside. Uh, Joe, third day magic. Oh, he's having the DIV of his life, guys. That is a hundred percent gold. Let's get it to focus. Take Joe's face out of here, right there. Can you see it? It says 14 with a little crown. I'm shaking for him. Beautiful design on it. Holy cow! Oh man, a buddy of ours that's here digging as well is about to walk up. I'm gonna hand drop him what Joe just dug. Get his reaction. Oh, you need to. You need to be all up in here. Joe, I, I'm shaking for him. No. Oh! Oh, oh my it's gosh. So <laughs> it's so heavy. Oh, it's so heavy. That's got to be a quarter ounce of gold at least. It's got to be. We're going to weigh it when we get home, dude. I got a scale. The wife's food scale should do it. Oh, that's right. Oh, Joe. We gotta get pictures of it, man. Yeah, I'm taking pictures of it right now. Oh, nice. Video pictures. Dude. Dude. We are a band of brothers and native to the soil. Fighting for our liberty with treasure, blood, and toil. And when our acts were threatened, the cry rose near and far. Hurrah for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah. Hurrah for the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star. As long as the Union was faithful to her trust, like friends and like brethren, kind we were and just. But now when northern treachery attempts our rights to mar, we'll hoist on high the bonny blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah, hurrah. First gal in South Carolina nobly made the stand. Then came Alabama and took her by the hand. Next quickly Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, all raised on high the bonnie blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah, hurrah. Woo! Well, we are going to call that quits. This is the end of day three. Oh, I didn't find anything after lunch, so just a couple buttons today. Slow for me. Joe definitely has the finds of the hunt. I'm going to throw up some pictures here at the end, but something awesome that did happen, I'd like to thank Fort Bedford Metal Detectors for the donations they do and all the people that donate stuff for the raffle. Uh, my raffle ticket came up and I won me an Equinox 800. So that's pretty freaking cool. The one I had a while back, I ended up selling before I got the day use and I have wanted one again, but didn't want to buy it. So to win one, now I've got a brand new water machine. That'll be fun. Well, hey guys, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of these pictures at the end that I'll throw up of the beautiful property. And if you ever want to do one of these hunts, message me and I'll, I'll give you information on what you need to do to try to get into the groups and, and uh, join us. So much fun. Thanks again. Bye-bye.